This video presents the experiment for our paper titled Bias MPPI Informing Model Predictive Path Integral Control by Fusing Ancillary Controllers. The first experiment consists of a rotational pendulum swing up and a reference tracking comparing a switching controller, a classical MPPI scheme, and our proposed Bias MPPI. The switching controller uses heuristics to switch between an energy based controller that performs the swing up, a linear quadratic regulator that stabilizes the pendulum, and a linear quadratic integrator that performs reference tracking with the arm at the top equilibrium. Thus, the controller will first swing up, then stabilize, and then go to the desired reference. The classic model predictive path integral control scheme, similarly to a nonlinear model predictive controller, has a nonlinear model of the pendulum and a cost function to bring the arm close to the reference and the pendulum at the top equilibrium. Thus, it immediately brings the arm close to the desired reference and swings up the pendulum. However, it has difficulties to keep it stable at the top equilibrium. Our proposed biased MPPI works the same way as classical MPPI, but allows for an arbitrary sampling distribution. Therefore, out of the 100 samples taken, three are suggestions from ancillary controllers used by the switching controller. Biased MPPI can take these suggestions and modify them to better minimize its cost. Thus, it immediately brings the arm next to the desired reference, efficiently swings up the pendulum, and achieves perfect stabilization. This is how the three methods perform next to each other. In the paper, the model parameters were randomized, demonstrating better performances and robustness to model uncertainties when using our proposed approach. The next experiment involves two agents crossing an intersection using the decentralized interaction aware MPPI. Interaction aware MPPI is a motion planner based on model predictive path integral control capable of simultaneous prediction and planning. The large orange sphere is the local goal the orange agent needs to reach while the small blue dot is the local goal predicted by the orange agent for the blue agent using a constant velocity model. The orange agent then makes a plan for itself, depicted by the thick orange line, and a prediction for the future motion of the blue agent, depicted by the thin orange line. The same can be seen for the blue agent in its respective color. Both agents start with zero velocity. The orange agent, encouraged by its cost function, should yield to the blue agent. Because the agents start with zero velocity, they observe each other standing still. Thus, both agents think that they can cross the intersection undisturbed. Only after a few time steps, it becomes clear that both agents want to cross. However, because MPPI only samples around the previous plan, the orange agent, being stuck in a local minimum, fails to discover a yielding maneuver. Both agents try to cross first, resulting in a collision. In this experiment, we apply our proposed bias sampling scheme to interaction over MPPI. Other than sampling around the previous plan, we also sample plans in which the agent break, move slowly, move fast, and move towards the goal. Also in this example, both agents think that they can cross undisturbed at the beginning. However, as soon as it's clear that the blue agent is also crossing, the orange agent quickly converges to a yielding maneuver thanks to the sampled ancillary controllers. This experiment demonstrates that our proposed bias sampling scheme is less prone to local minima, thus more reactive to unexpected changes in the environment. In the next experiment, four agents navigate a narrow map using the decentralized interaction aware MPPI. On the left, with 2,000 samples, interaction aware MPPI based on the classic sampling scheme can solve an intersection. In the middle, we reduce the number of samples tenfold to reduce the computational burden, resulting in the classical approach failing. On the right, our proposed biased MPPI scheme also samples a braking, move slow, move fast, and move to the goal maneuver. Additionally, we also sample from a learning-based trajectory prediction model to further inform the sampling scheme. In the video, we see that our approach can solve the interaction while using 10 times less sample compared to the original MPPI approach. This experiment demonstrates that our proposed bias sampling scheme is significantly more sample efficient. At last, in the real-world experiment, a jacket robot has to reach a goal as fast as possible when a box is unexpectedly thrown in its path. Visualize all the 50 bus samples where the blue ones are the best ones and the orange ones are the worst ones. The green line represents the constant velocity prediction of the box used by the motion planner. On the left, classic MPPI only takes samples that are in collision with the box, resulting in a collision. On the right, biased MPPI samples a zero velocity braking maneuver and quickly converges to it when the box is thrown, avoiding collision.